Well, welcome back, YouTubes. Well, we finally got our sub-zero weather here in Wisconsin. We got it late this year. It's the middle of February right now. So the last week, week and a half or so, that kind of chased me out of the shop of doing my insulation work. I just don't care to run that that little propane heater when it gets that cold in there because I'm just you basically got to run it the whole time and at full blast and I just I don't like the smell that gives off and it kind of gives me a headache to tell you the truth and and I just didn't feel like working out there when it was like that so I've been kind of dinking around down in the basement here and out in the garage I bought this US General two bucks last spring so I'm coming up on a year of owning it and when I bought it last year I basically took the all the tools out of the two two bucks that this is re, that this replaced and I just dumped them in there with like no organization to it at all I thinking I'll figure it out as I go along well I finally got sick of not knowing where stuff was so I finally went through and I and I organized it all. Um, so I thought I did a toolbox tour like years ago. Maybe it was time to to update it. Um, like I said, this is a U.S. General box. It's the forty-four. I think it's forty-four inches across. Um, I mainly picked it because I kind of looked at the U.S. General boxes. I looked at the Husky boxes that Home Depot sells. I wasn't looking to spend a million dollars on a box. Uh, my philosophy with tools is I don't usually go for the cheapest and I don't usually go for the high-end stuff unless I unless it's like tools that I can make money with like my like carpentry tools. But when it comes to like my automotive tools I, I kinda go for middle of the road so I can buy more with my money and be able to do more more of that kind of stuff myself. So I basically went with the US General Box because of the size. It was It's, it's kind of an in-between size. I didn't want a big 52 inch box because I just don't have room for that. And I mean, I, don't, I really don't have room for this right now. I gotta finish cleaning out my garage so it can eventually live over on that wall over there. But this was kind of like a nice in-between size and I really liked the, the layout of the drawers. And I really liked the color blue because Anything else you're looking at, you're pretty much either looking at black or red as the main colors. So I kind of like this because it was different. Now I did buy this before Harbor Freight came out with its new colors. I think, had I known they were actually going to come out with those colors, I think I might have went with the green to match the tractors. <laughs> and I just like green in general, but this blue is fine for what it is. I think after having this box a year, if I could do anything different... I think I would have maybe looked a little seriously at some of the other options I had because basically all these drawers are the same depth until you get to the bottom two which are deeper same with the top part then you got this deep drawer here in the top of the bottom part here I, I think I would have kind of like a couple more deep drawers but other than that I, I'm, I'm making it work mm. up on top here um, this is my old set of Craftsman tools. I, I think this is like a hundred some pieces or whatever. This was kind of like my starter set of sockets and stuff that I've had like forever. I I put them back in the original box that came. This 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 I call my go box now. Whenever I if I need to go out in the wood shop and I need need some sockets, I take that box out there. Or if I need to go help a buddy or something, that's the box I take. Or if I need a Go fix something somewhere else on the property. That's what I take. And then, basically, this is also kind of like a junk spot and uh, collect all. I got like advertisements for the local Woodcraft, Harbor Freight magazine. I can just kind of keep up there if I want to see what's on sale. Um, that's registration for my trailer. That's buried under snow right now, so that's. <laughs> where it'll stay until the snow melts. And then, as you know from my previous two box tour, I, I really like the mechanics gloves I got. 
my set for automotive work and this is kind of like my set for doing yard work basically and I go through these pretty quick I usually have a supply around and we'll get to that later now the top part of, now the way I have this set up the top part of my box is all tools I don't use all that often and the bottom part is tools I that I'm more most commonly going to come in and reach for um, these top two drawers are basically empty. These are room for expansion later on. In this drawer, I kind of have like all my specialty tools, like my oil change, um, my um, I forget what the hell these things are called. Split pin pliers. Um, I actually bought this when I was rebuilding that John Deere 210 a couple years ago. So I was going to hone it out myself, but I I took it in to a guy at Nat that works at Napa to, so he could do the the valve seats for me and he was looking at it, it's like oh you want me to hone it out for you at the same time like, I don't know I got a tool at home how much you charge he goes like oh I'll charge you like five bucks I'm like okay might as well you do it you know what you're doing <laughs> so I never ended up using that tool um, I got like my battery charger here timing gun Harmonic balancer puller, my tachometer, uh, compression ring, not compression, yeah, piston ring compressor, parts for my sandblaster, compression tester kit in this drawer. This is all stuff I really don't use that often unless I'm building up an engine or something. Then up here, I just I got my two little die grinders here. I bought these a pawn shop in Madison a few years back. They were new, still in package. I think they wanted like 40 bucks for them and I think I looked them up and these were like $100 brand new. So that was a pretty good deal I scored that day. Um, this is actually a gift I got for Christmas. This is an Ace Hardware LED light. I actually have a a few of these that are the Husky brand that I used to take on the job sites with me so I so I decided to put this one out here in the garage and that will make a good working on cars or tractors light. In here I keep my tap and die set. This is another tool I don't use all that often but when when I need to use it it's that's a great resource to have. And in this drawer, I just got my extra supply of of gloves here. I got an extra set of nitro gloves. These gloves I've had since I was probably in high school. <laughs> That's why my names are my first initials on there, because my dad bought me, my brother, and himself each a pair of these gloves. And we marked them so we know whose gloves was whose. And like I said, I'm a, I'm a fan of these mechanic gloves. It's just too bad they don't last longer for how much you pay for them, but it's better than tearing your hands up. Then in here, I finally have all my sockets in one location. Um, these are not the Hanson sets. So these are a cheap um, knockoff that I got from Amazon. I think they're called also tools. Yeah. They're fine for what they are. But I found at Home uh oh, not Home Depot, Harbor Freight that they had these. And I think Stephen Cox made a video on these like just recently about these and I have to agree with what he says. He's a, I almost kinda like these a little better, but they're cheaper at, at like nine bucks. Or actually it's ten bucks. For a set of three it's a lot more affordable than these I mean these aren't the expensive hundred some dollar Hansons but I think I still paid like 40 bucks but that was a metric and standard set all together so it, it probably works out about the same price as the Harbor Freight ones to tell you the truth then I keep my 
um, torque wrench in here because it's too big to fit anywhere else. Um, this torque wrench is actually busted from being used so much. It works. It it works just enough to maybe torque some lower end stuff, but if I was going to do another engine, I would definitely go get a new torque wrench because this, this, that one's just been worn out. And this wasn't anything special. I think this was a, I think this was a Craftsman. Yeah. It's just been dropped and manhandled too many times over the years. Um, then I keep all my socket accessories here. I have all my extensions, my, um, my breaker bar, then um, my different um, ratchets. This was just a cheap ratchet my dad gave me like a long, long time ago. But this has like the best handle on it of any, well except for maybe like the newer style ratchets that, you know, they have like the, the plastic handles that are formed to fit your thing. And I think that's the only reason why I keep this is just, I like that knurled feel and the round handle. It's nice for really getting on something. Then in this the wall box I have all the accoutrements to the snow driver. <clears throat> and we'll just go down the line here. Uh oh yeah. Now we'll go to the we'll go down. Then in this top drawer, we have all my different pliers and accessories. A lot of these are like the same tool over and over again, like most of the time I grab these channel locks, my old trusty craftsman set here. I bought these not too long ago because I thought they looked interesting and mostly because I wanted a smaller version. That was the main reason why I bought that. And these are okay. And then for Christmas one year someone gave me this set. I mean, it's a Cabot. Cabolt set, wool set, whatever you want to call it. I like that the the handles on these are real comfortable, but the self-adjusting thing, I don't know, it's it's, it's hard to, for me to get used to that. I kind of more often than not, I don't ever use these just because of that feature. And here's a neat nifty little tool tip. We get these little silica bags and different things that work that comes over from China so it stays dry on the fucking boat I guess so I usually grab these and I put them in here to keep the moisture down in my toolbox so the tools don't rust and I don't know I still get rust on them but I like to think it actually helps a little bit then in these two drawers here I have all my wrenches these are just your standard wrenches on the right side drawer here then over on this side I have the gear style wrench, which some of these are actually gear wrenches in the standard size, but the ones with the straighter heads are um, just a crafts, the craftsman knockoff of gear wrench. Then I keep my other specialty wrenches in here, like these little mini wrenches, which I barely ever use. And then I keep my um, crescent wrenches in here, or most of my crescent wrenches, I think. I guess I think I have a pair of. Out in my handy hand box, and I got a pair out in the other shop too. And this is just more air air supply stuff, different connectors, um, tire gauges, blowers. And this drawer is my Allen wrench drawer. Kind of assortment of different wrenches. Then I just have a bunch of oddball. Craftsman ones. These were probably part of that one of my tool sets. But more often than not, I end up using this cheap husky set just because I like the bald ends on them. And here is my hammer drawer with the different punches and alignment tools one might need with the hammer. Um, down in this drawer. I keep my angle, my Makita angle grinder. As you all know, I'm a Makita fanboy. Then all the accoutrements one would need with an angle grinder. 
And we'll come back up to the third drawer down. This is my screwdriver drawer. But I also have other things in there, like some a Maco pick set that I got. Um, I got, got a couple different screwdriver sets going on here. This was like the first set I ever owned. It was a Stanley set. Well, and I got this bigger Craftsman set later on. The, I got a couple different Husky sets back here. <clears throat> this one I bought mainly because there was some specialty bits in here that I really liked. But overall, this set sucks ass. This screwdriver handle is a piece of garbage. The bits, the bits are kind of garbage, but for what I've ever used this for, it was nothing where I ever had to worry about breaking the bits or anything, but I think if you ever had to use it for something you really had to torque on, those bits would crumble on you. Then I also have this little precision set too. This one I don't use nearly as much. It's kind of nice to have. Now this, this is a slightly better quality, but nice aluminum handles. This drawer is just kind of an oddball drawer. I got all my files lined up here. Scrapers, wire brushes. Then I had a. F Actually, this is my dad's. I don't, I don't even remember if he gave me that or what, but somehow this ended up in my <laughs> possession. So there it will because I know my dad would never use it anymore. And down here is just another odd duck drawer. All my different pry bars, the hacksaw, pipe wrench. Bolt cutters. And down here is my um, impacts set. <clears throat> I got this IR Thunder Gun. And it's street legal too, for those of you who are worried about that. <laughs> it's, it's an okay gun. It's not Ingersoll's most powerful gun, but it does about 90% of what I need it for and the other 10% that this won't do I usually go borrow my brother's because he has the big Mamba Jamba IR gun that will bust anything loose so yeah that's just, just kind of an update to my my toolbox box because I need something to do a video on. <laughs> um, and then I also the day I bought this toolbox, box, which is probably about the first time I actually shopped at Home Depot or not Home Depot, Harbor Freight to tell you the truth. They gave me this little flashlight too for being a customer, I guess. <laughs> and actually this 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 little cheap free free light is actually better than my old LED light that I had hanging on my toolbox. That light I'm gonna repurpose for something else I think. With it, between that light and this light I got for Christmas I should cover all my lighting needs now. Plus I also have a another hook light that can hang from anywhere. That's LED. I don't even know where that is right now I'll tell you the truth. I haven't put any stickers on this yet but I do have a couple magnets. I got my heavy hitch main that I got when I bought my heavy hitch for my tractor. And I got a couple of Mopar magnets that I got from Johnny Lightning cars that I've collected over the years. So yeah, that's my 2020 toolbox review. I'll talk to you guys later.